Hello, Kathy Vogan here from Spot Training and today I'm going to demonstrate a Final Cut Studio workflow for stills. So let's supposing that we've got some stills that need to be animated and graded and we want to grade those in colour. We want to put transitions on either side so that they run into some live video. We could get into some pretty deep water there because stills are not handled by colour. Motion doesn't like transitions, etc, etc. So what do we do? Well, we're just looking at a sequence here now where I have put in some live video. And a still, and then we've got some live video again. So there's two things that you'll probably notice here straight away. The first thing is uh, quite obvious. I have put the still on a second video track. Now why have I done that? Well, because I want to make a dissolve between the still and the surrounding video. Now if I put the still on track 1 and send that to motion, it's going to come back with no handles, so I won't be able to do my transitions. And if I put my transitions on now, well, motion doesn't support transitions, so that's a dead end. <laughs> so we'll continue to process the still with these handles and put on the transitions much later, right at the very end in fact. Okay, so let's send this shot to motion. I'm sending it to motion because I've got 3D capabilities in motion that I don't have in Final Cut Pro, so I prefer to animate this kind of thing in motion. So let's go right click and send to motion and I'll just call that still. I ticked launch motion so it's opening up. Let's just open the project and timing windows so we can have a look at that. Now I'll just do something pretty simple here. I'll just uh, add a behavior. Basic motion, grow shrink. With this workflow I can add keyframes as well. There's absolutely no problem. But uh, let's just uh, do a bit of a grow shrink. So now I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, we're zooming in maybe a bit more and probably want to put on that recording button so we can just reposition recenter the video so that well we've got a sort of a zooming into the doorway okay that'll do me now save this in motion and go back to final cut render that now if I send this sequence to color at the moment. Uh, color doesn't handle stills and even though I'm creating some render media here you'll see when I finally send this to color <laughs> that there'll just be an empty space here. Alright so what am I going to do now? I'm going to take off the auto select and hit X and now I'm going to export this. With the in and the out point I'm going to export this as a reference movie. So I'm not going to make that self-contained. Okay, save. Alright, so now I'm going to import that again. Choose. And I'm just going to lay that down on the track above. I'm doing that because I want this to be a totally non-destructive process. I can always go back to my previous steps. Okay, so we'll just give that a bit of a save save. And now I can take this sequence and do a send to color. File, send to color. Okay, now what have we got in color? Let's do a command plus to zoom in a little bit on this timeline. Let's just pull that all down a bit. Well that's just sort of looking exactly as I anticipated. There's my first video shot, there's my second video shot, that's what came back in from motion, but however, now I've got the still animated the way it is in motion. I've still got my handles, of course, there, nothing has changed from the Final Cut Pro sequence. Now we can give this all a bit of a grade in colour, and I'm just going to do something very quick. Um, I'll just go to the effects room because I couldn't be bothered uh, doing it any other way. So I'll just drag one of these out 
Yeah, that'll do. It looks very spooky now. I'm going to my video shots. But of course I could do a grade, save it and drag the same grade over each element, both still and moving image alike. Okay, so let's go to our render queue and add all and start the render. Okay, so that's us done. I'll give that a bit of a save and now I'm going back to Final Cut Pro, send to Final Cut Pro. That's okay, it's saying that not all of my clips are rendered. Well, that's actually this baby down here, which is what stools usually look like. And if we don't touch them, color's not going to do anything to them. Um, I'll say yes, that's all right. And of course, the unrendered media will link back to the original media in your Final Cut Pro timeline. Well, that's fine with me, because I'm not going to be using that anyway. All right, so let's open that up and see what we've got. Okay, so... There we go. That's looking rather good, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, let's uh, get rid of the unwanted material now. So I'll just duplicate this sequence. I'll call that number two. Let's just make sure number two is open. As I say, this is non-destructive, this process. So what I will actually want to do now is get rid of that layer that useless layer. Delete. I've still got it in the other sequence as you can see but if I'm going to put on my transitions now I don't want that to be showing underneath so I'm getting rid of it. What will be revealed is my video. Alright, rock and roll. I think just to hear this, just to watch this, I'm going to delete that horrible soundtrack because somebody was just beating on a tin can. They forgot to bring their beatbox along to the uh, shoot. <laughs> 